Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on inverse functions. We'll discuss how to find inverse of a quadratic function when the graph is given to us. So the question here is to sketch inverse and write its equation. Second part of this question is how can the domain be restricted for inverse to be a function? So the graph over here is a parabola which opens upwards. It has vertex at a point which I could write here as, uh, let's write down here vertex is at a point which is 3, 2. So this is 3 and that is 2. Now we also see that there are two invariant points. So they, we have sketched a line which is y equals to x. The line crosses the parabola at two points and these two points are invariant points. So let me write these two as shown here as invariant points. That means these two points will be common on the function as well as the inverse of its function, right? To sketch the inverse of a function, we have to reflect on y equals 2x. So the idea here is to reflect the function f of x on the line y equals 2x, right? So that is kind of a mirror image. So whenever this reflection is done, what happens? The xy points swap, so they become yx. So the vertex on the function f of x will now change to the vertex, which will be 2, 3, correct? As you can see here, this is a parabola which opens up. So, so when you do inverse, then it will open right. Okay. So this point here, which was at 3, 2, will now be at 2, 3. So this point changes to that point on the inverse function. So in black ink, we are showing the points and data for the inverse function. So we got our vertex. Now, if you see, this parabola moves one unit as you move up and right, correct? So from here, it moves one. So we can, we have two arms opening towards, when I say opens right, it really means the inverse is going to be kind of like this. So, so we can follow these steps. So we have steps from here, one, and next time three. So we go one, two, and three. Similarly, because of the symmetry, from here we get one, and then next time we get the step one, two, and three. So you have a part of the parabola right there, so it kind of goes like this. So that is the inverse of the given function. Do you see that part? So it is that easy. Now the second part to this is, now let's also write down the equations. So, so here is how we will write equations. Now let's look into the equation part. Since the steps for, we'll go with the steps. Steps are one, three, five, seven we know the value of a is 1 and therefore the function f of x could now be written as with the vertex as 3, 2, x minus 3 whole square plus 2. It opens upwards. Now as far as the inverse goes, so for the inverse function, so f inverse, I'm not writing x since it is not a function, right? So the inverse of this is the vertex changes, right? So it's a square root function, which we write with plus and minus. Now these values swap. Do you get the idea? Two and three. That is one way of looking into it. Second way is 
you could work reverse order so x minus 2 so we're doing first we do minus 2 right and then we do square root with plus and minus and then we add 3 then we add 3 so that is how you get inverse functions equation so we got the second part now which is writing equation is that clear now the third part to this is how can domain be restricted for inverse to be a function now to restrict the domain of the function we have to see one arm only since it fails horizontal line test right so if i draw a horizontal line let us say like this this line crosses at two points if i restrict my domain to let's say one side of the parabola so let me restrict this domain to x values which are greater than equal to 3 in that case we'll get the inverse of upper arm which is this arm do you see that so in that case our inverse will be a function so i'm writing x here now whose equation will be positive x minus 2 plus 3 does it make sense to you you could also restrict this domain to the the left side that is to say case 2 this is we say now case 2 what you could do is you could take x values which are less than equal to the axis which is at x equals to 3 in that case we are talking about the left side of the parabola which is this part then the inverse of the function is going to be negative square root of x minus 2 plus 3 do you see that which is the lower part of the parabola which opens upwards so if you do this then what you get inverse function as this part and if you take the right side then the inverse function is the upper part of the parabola so i hope that gives you a lot of insight of how to sketch the inverse of a parabola the quadratic function from the graph directly also how to write their equations restrict domain to ensure that inverse is a function perfect now here is another question for you treat that as a test question try to answer it yourself i hope you got all the concepts treat this question as your test question what you need to do is sketch inverse and write equations so write equations for both the function itself and also its inverse here is the graph for you the parabola represents the function right so this parabola is the function here we have sketched a line which is y equals to x you could always reflect this parabola on the line get your inverse once you do that then after that how can the domain be restricted for inverse to be a function that means domain restriction for the function which will result into inverse as a function that's the second part of this question uh, i hope the concepts are clear to you feel free to pause the video now write down your answers and then check with my solution correct so from our observation what do we get we have the function f of x whose vertex is at the point so vertex is a very critical point it is at minus one six and this parabola opens down so the inverse will be what so the inverse will have a vertex swap this 6 minus 1 and it will open in which direction since it is opening down it will open left what i'm trying to say is that it's going to open in this direction from the vertex which now will be 6 minus 1 so 6 minus 1 is right there so from this point we are expecting the parabola to open in this direction towards the left side correct now let's look into 
these steps. So the first step is two down. So that means we are now going through these steps which are two times one, three, five, seven and so on. That means a value is two. Perfect. So from here go one and two down. So from here go one and two down. We are now making a parabola which will open left and second step will be two times three which is six. Second step one, two, three. 4, 5, 6. Then from symmetry, you know the other point is right there. And then it will be 10, right? Moving further ahead. Now joining these points, I could always sketch my parabola, right? So this is a smooth curve which kind of goes like this. Do you see that? And these are your invariant points. So you could move your curve through these invariant points. So that is how, I mean, that is how we could actually sketch it. So that becomes the inverse of our function. And clearly, this is not a function since if I draw a vertical line, it intersects at two points. So it is not a function. Correct? So we have sketched the inverse of the function. Now we are going to write its equation. So as far as the function goes, for the function, the equation will be, so f of x is equal to, we know 2 and it is opening downwards, so it is minus 2. Vertex is at minus 1 and 6, that means x plus 1 whole square plus 6. As far as inverse is concerned, f inverse will be, so what you should do is, within square root, we've swapped, right? So we have to solve for x. So first you take away 6, which is, x minus 6 then you divide by minus 2 and then you square root reverse calculation whenever you square root you have to write plus and minus and then you take away 1 so that becomes the inverse clearly the vertex is at 6 minus 1 6 minus 1 do you see that part you will also notice that in these cases domain and range has swapped correct so in the first case, we have x value, which is belongs to all real numbers, right? And in the second case, we have the x value, which should be greater than equal to 6. Correct? Less than equal to 6, right? Negative, because this negative, negative is going to make it positive. Okay, so, so what happens really in the first case, we know x belongs to real numbers. However, y is less, the range, y is less than or equal to 6. So in the second case, they change. So what happens here is that x now is less than or equal to 6 and y belongs to real numbers for the inverse. So that is the domain and range for the inverse. Perfect. So we got the equation domain range for both. Now, what we are going to do is to state restrictions. So we'll do the part two now. How can the domain be restricted? Now, domain can always be restricted by taking one side of this parabola from the vertex. So we could have two cases. So let's say case one, we could do that x is greater than or equal to minus 1. In that case, we have the upper half. So if I take x as greater than or equal to minus 1, we get this parabola on the right side. And as far as the inverse go, we'll have the parabola moving left upper half. So here we'll have this parabola as our inverse. Do you see that? So the inverse will now be a function, so I'm writing with f inverse x, which will be equal to the positive value of x minus 6 over minus 2 minus 1. Does it make sense to you? Correct? Now, let's take case 2. So case 2 could be when x is less than or equal to minus 1. So now we are looking into the left side of this parabola clear? In that case, the inverse of our function 
will be equal to the negative value of square root of x minus 6 minus 2 divided by minus 1. That means the lower half is that clear so in this fashion you could actually sketch inverse of a quadratic function very easily write its domain and range and also see how to restrict domain of the function to ensure that inverse is a function so we could have two cases as we just discussed either side of the axis of symmetry so the idea is to look for axis of symmetry I hope you find this video extremely helpful and useful. Feel free to write your comments, share my videos and if you like and subscribe to them, that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.